Are you tired after a long day of hacking and fighting the mega corporations? Do you need a pick me up? Uh huh. You need Vendcorp vending machines for all your food and refilling needs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another tutorial on the channel. Today, we are doing Redstone for the first time. Yes! So many of you like the vending machines that I did in one of my previous episodes that I thought I'd come and do um, a redstone tutorial about this and try and make it into a functional thing. So this one gives you pork chops, right? And this one gives you rockets. And I'll show you guys how they work in a bit. And you can do many different things with this, including XP and ender pearls and whatever other things you need as refill stations right so let's just get rid of these things and i will get started with the tutorial so first one is kind of for if you have space behind a wall second one would be if you have space underground right so whatever your space limitations are one of these should work for you uh, the first one is a nine by four by six and this one is a six by four by ten right so let's get started with the first one the material list for this one is as follows you need hoppers observers droppers comparators chests a redstone torch or lever and i'll show you guys why uh, a lamp a sticky piston a button needs to be a wooden button then you need a barrel with two swords to regulate the lamp properly this needs to be blue ice. It has to be blue ice. Otherwise, the items will not make it to the front of the machine. And then a water bucket for the water stream. And then you're going to need 42 building blocks. This can be whatever your floor is made out of or your walls um, or whatever you like to build your redstone contraptions out of. This is not specific. Same goes for the slabs and the stairs. It's whatever you want. Um, the blast furnace doesn't need to be a blast furnace. It just needs to be a solid block. I just like the way the blast furnace looks. And then I have gone for a bit of a cyan uh, theme with all of this. You guys can do whatever theme suits you. It could be a complete mix mash or you could do um, magenta, orange or whatever um, for the vending machines. It's good to actually mix them up, right? So let's get started all right so the first thing that we want to do is actually build the vending machine right so in a three by two hole in your wall we're going to put the glazed terracotta there and a lamp right there then we are going to put the blast furnace like that with a button on the front and we're going to put glass there and a stair like that with a slab underneath it then some trap doors here and here and some at the top like that with the banner in front like that and then we're going to take our signs and we're going to put them on the sides like that and the sign in the front there and that is the front of the vending machine complete now the thing is you can use this but that door is going to flap open the whole time so what i suggest is taking a lever and putting it right there so that that doesn't happen i mean if you're okay with it and if you don't have space under your floor then that's totally fine right next we're coming around the back and we're putting a sticky piston behind the blast furnace and then we're going to bring out four observers like that so that we could put one in there and break that one out right then four observers facing down those are going to form the basis for the clock for this whole machine you're gonna have to put four blocks on top of the observers like that and four droppers facing down okay and then two blue ice remember these have to be blue ice because unfortunately this machine is so that it has to stop two blocks before so it needs the best ice to be able to make your, your items need to be able to get to the basket so blue ice then uh we're gonna fill this up to there and fill the in with blocks to there then we could put the water in and block that off and that is pretty much the dispenser part of this whole thing now if you want to dispense um, an entire stack you would need to double this up to eight of these little slices right because at the moment this gives you a half stack 
And if you want, let's say one of these is going to be for ender pearls for you, you can cut it in half and only have two, so it spits out 16. You could also change the droppers out for dispensers if you want to turn this into a XP um, little vending machine. You could put bottles of uh, enchanting in there and then, you know, have it as a repair station for your elytras. So now that we have this dispensing thing done, we're going to do the refill system and that is four hoppers facing into the droppers and then one facing into the last one there and three facing into it and then we can come across and put a chest here now you're going to need access to this chest so i would suggest like i have done here to have a door with like a little ladder that you can come up to get to your chest right the last thing that you're going to need to do is put a comparator right there. That one's going to take a reading from this one. But we don't want it to get a reading the second there's one item in there because then it's not going to shoot. It's not going to have eight items to shoot out for one thing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put up another block there with a comparator reading into it and then a barrel. And inside this barrel, we have two wooden swords. And these wooden swords is going to make it so that this light only comes on when there's 42 items in this dropper here. That is the closest I can get it to not being uh, completely empty or completely full for this thing to turn on. So that's that. And now we can test this. Let's press the button and all of our items are being dispensed. And as you can see, they all make it into the basket, which is what I love most about this one is that it actually has a basket. And as you can see, that is 32 yummy, delicious pork chops. Uh, best food in the game, right? All right, so I've changed up this one to be the more magenta-y style that I mentioned earlier. And uh, I've got the materials here that reflects that, right? So you have all the redstone materials that you're gonna need up there, as well as all of your design materials down here. You're also going to need a soul sand for this design as there's a bubble column involved and a shulker, preferably, as your refilling um, input chest. Uh, I mean, barrels could work, chest could work, uh, but more likely a colored uh, shulker box is going to be the best for this design. Right, so let's get started. Okay, so starting with this configuration right here, let's get started by putting in the blast furnace right there with the button on top, so that is out of the way. Then. We're just going to swoop in down here and put in the shulker box so that we don't have to worry about that later, right? Then we're going to put in the stair there. We're going to put in a sea lantern over there and a regular redstone lamp like that with the two concretes and then the glass over the top of it and a painting in there. Then we're going to take the banner and we're going to hang that there and we're going to put our signs up like that right and the trap doors over the top and that again is the whole vending machine complete next we're going to come down with the soul sand and we're going to go down in this corner here um how much is that one two three four five so five blocks down on the sixth block that is where you put your soul sand then behind it, we are going to put in our droppers. So we'll just put that one in there and then four droppers facing up. Next to the droppers, we are going to have our um, regular blocks again. And at this point, we could probably fill in the top here as well. Then from there, we can also fill in these spaces. We're gonna have this entire thing as a bubble column to send our items up and we'll have we'll fill this in with water firstly like that and that one and then put a trap door right from here we are going to place a sticky piston there and then we're going to have the downward facing one that's going to get pushed out by the sticky piston and one two three facing up and then from there we're going to have the four facing in again this is exactly the same mechanism as what we had over there right then from there we are going to actually put in our refill right from the from the um, shulker box 
all the way in that's completely done then just to get the lamp going we are going to have this here and we're going to have that coming out of this one so unfortunately in this case there's going to have to be at least one rocket in here for that light to turn on which means that this one needs to be completely full unfortunately i don't think there's an easier way of doing that so if anyone can figure that out please let me know then we're going to have a block there and let me just grab a torch here torch block and torch and that is the whole machine complete so in this case we just clear out my inventory if we push this the items are coming up from the floor now not as cool as falling into a basket like it is there but it still works and it gives you your full 32 and this is great for for refilling rockets refilling ender pearls uh torches if you want to just grab a few before you go back out exploring or uh xp to re repair an elytra there's so many uses for these and uh I really hope that you guys find some of this useful. If you have, do leave me a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Oh, and by the way, there's a world download in the description. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. Ventcorp vending machines are so convenient. I love them. I get all my refilling needs from them. They're so convenient. I even have one in my apartment.